sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. Any and all information that you need about me regarding this reading shall be in the description box below. Let go. So we're talking about a change in perspective or the way you approach something. Some of you, you are enjoying uh, this rest and relaxation. Maybe you're taking a break from people, places, and things. But while you're going on this excursion or while you're in this uh, excursion, you're going through this transformation here. Okay, so some kind of idea is manifesting inside of you. It has something to do with your God-given talents, okay? So this uh, new gift or this new approach to life is right on time for someone because you're being free from something or someone. So you're gaining this victory over somebody who may have been judgmental, okay? This is someone that acts out of uh, haste here, emotionally, emotionally charged, this could be somebody that's on a cusp here. This person was hiding something, hiding their true intentions, or maybe that's what you felt, okay? Because you were in a cycle, or whoever this is was in a cycle where they may have been experiencing bouts of bad luck. And we're going to get to it, all right? Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Somebody has a tendency to uh, escape things or escape reality, we're definitely speaking about a transformation. This is picking up on the elect one energy. So while you're going through this transformation, you may have been guided to be alone, okay? Or choose the solidary path. The sun card is the first out on the deck, I mean, on the table. Somebody could be on the deck. Maybe you went on the boat. We got Leo energy strong in this reading. Could also be Aries or Sagittarius or somebody that's very passionate about whatever it is they do. This is a leader. This is someone that takes the throne or they're supposed to take the throne. This is about a victory. This is also causing someone to feel uncomfortable. All right. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. This could have something to do with someone being eclipsed out of your life. A lunar eclipse could be significant. So we got the high priestess in the shadow. This is someone that is disconnected from source. Now, this may be a person that's very knowledgeable about uh, whatever it is they're knowledgeable about, but it's not being uh, given to them by, by source. So this is telling me this is someone that is not on the right path, okay? This could have something to do with the partnership, okay? Somebody wants you to be trapped in a situation that's not abundant, it's not fruitful. And I believe, you know, maybe a light was shined on that. Maybe you went in and seek or sought out some inner guidance and you came out with a different perspective. We're talking about knowledge and understanding, wisdom. OK, maybe from a cycle that was completed or needs to be complete. So we got the justice and the wheel of fortune. So we're speaking about balancing the scales. Somebody equilibrium may be off. You may be feeling dizzy or something like that. Somebody could have did a return to sender. Yeah. Okay. So this is a 50-50. So for some of you, this is about a belief, about society, about the patriarch. Okay. This could also be about higher education, some sort of advancement here. Okay. Some of you, you may have been working against yourself. OK, and so going forward, you're going to feel like blocked, maybe that you have no guidance. That could have been something that somebody wanted for you as well, especially if you are in a distorted connection. OK, somebody's giving you some sort of knowledge and understanding about what's taking place in the environment around you. However, you may not be listening. If show me what it is. Somebody's doubtful. You could be dealing with a sun sign, Pisces, Aquarius, Cusp, okay? This is somebody that is a leader or they want you to see them as a leader. So you can stay in this contract here. But if you keep taking advice from this person, you're going to end up in distorted energy. Yeah, bound and trapped. So for some of you, you could be a Gemini or this person is a Gemini. This is somebody that you seek soul this in. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. This is somebody that is uh, puppeteering you. Somebody could also be materialistic or maybe they're saying that somebody's materialistic. 
So we're speaking about somebody that's in the dark night of the soul. Some, some form of transformation is taking place. You may have facilitated this transformation or you may be helping to facilitate it, especially if we have a throne here. So this is a different perspective of, of the elect one. Either show me what it is I need to see. All right, so we're talking about lost money, lost partnership, lost love, and somebody feeling drained here. This is someone that wants you to feel like whatever it is you're going into is something that is not protected. But we got the sign card here. So this is something that is divinely orchestrated. Why is the, why is the fire element here? You need to show me what it is I need to see. So if this reading is uh, in alignment with you, you may most definitely be a, a cuss sign. So we got that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's trying to try your patience or they want you to be patient. So this is uh, maybe a lesson the divine puts you together with this person. Uh, you know, the opposites attract to learn lessons for, for somebody, though. Oh, look at that. You could be in your masculine energy. So we're definitely speaking about spiritual spouses. You have a different perspective uh, of the way you connect with people, or at least that's how people perceive this. You could have a different in the, uh, difference in beliefs, the way you communicate, or the way communi uh, sources are um, asking you or guiding you to communicate. Why is the fire element here? You can show me what it is I need to see. So we got an Aquarius is what I'm picking up. Aquarius may have something to do with a lie or somebody lied on you, Aquarius. So somebody's seeing that luck is on your side. A beetle could be significant. Here in South Node Beetle. Maybe you're driving a beetle or somebody else. The chariot, why is this here? There's some sort of enforcement taking place. Or somebody is involved in some sort of enforcement. Why is that chariot here? All right, so yeah. So you tapped in to your psyche. Okay, or some sort of sixth sense. Maybe you maybe maybe this is somebody that you watch. That person could be me. That may help you release something or realize something in the past. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but you have some sort of platform or people come to you for guidance. And yeah, so you want to take a risk here. Okay, when you uh, encounter this person, it may make you feel uh, like emotional or something. And so with Mercury retrograde, somebody's wishing that they could go back or redo something. Your uh, spiritual team might be trying to assist you on that. I'm hearing reconsolidation. What's at the bottom? <laughs> I'm hearing one night of passion. I don't know. Maybe you want a night of passion with this person or maybe you had one. It just depends. Okay. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. So somebody has escapism with this. Okay. Somebody lets their mind uh, run wild. So we got that energy of 14. So we're talking about freedom and some sort of transformation. 14 and 30 could be significant. 30 can, uh, 3 as well. So we're speaking about some sort of gift or inheritance. Okay. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. You could be thinking about this person a lot. And when you think about this person, maybe things appear. <sighs> Somebody's trying to figure out who they really are or what they really need. Or maybe you're doing this in regards to this person. Either show me what it is I need to see. You may feel like you're incompatible. And this is why you keep going back to the past. You're not learning a lesson here. Uh, for some of you, this is when you went into a dark space. You went back to someone from the past. Why is Mercury retrograde here? That nine keep wanting to come out. So somebody's trying to cope with something. Four could be significant. Forty could be significant. Okay. Somebody is suppressing their emotions and they need to release something. Okay. This could have something to do with an album release as well. We're talking about something that's final, okay? Somebody may be trying to deny a truth or something like that. So you're needing to use your intuition. 
Yeah. This is about free will or the lack thereof. So I feel like there's a slow progression when it comes down to do with this situation. 35 and 36 could be significant as well. So we're talking about negative influences, patterns. You may be noticing that. Okay. Somebody makes moves out of desperations, uh, like desperation or fear. Either show me what it what it is I need to see. Somebody continuously does something that they don't like, and they need to use their intuition. This could be like self sabotaging behavior. OK, that keeps you in a repetitive cycle or keeps you going back to something that you're comfortable with. So we're talking about a journey. A party bus could be significant, a tour bus as well. OK, somebody may have a fear of intimacy and or commitment. Why 74 here? You may somebody see someone else as their happy place or maybe you're trying to find a place that you'll be happy with you could be trying to relocate we're talking about a masculine energy here you could be picking up on a telepathic communication with this person 15 why is this here uh, you may want to move in with this person or you may want to travel uh, towards this person 15 why is this here yeah, so you were not honest with yourself. And this is that self-sabotaging behavior, okay? It's like, um, what is that? A self-fulfilling prophecy here that allows you to keep like making the same mistake. I feel like there is a past life connection with this person. You're not being honest with yourself. You know, your spiritual team may be saying that this is a success, whatever it is, but you may not see it that way. You may feel like somebody's materialistic. Why is 40 here in reverse? You may also feel like this person is intelligent. Okay, and intelligence. Intelligent. Oh, somebody, mm, somebody deals with AI. It could be like a tech or something. 40. Why is this here? Somebody's trying to suppress something or suspend something here. Suspend something in time. To make you not use your intuition when it comes down to do with the partnership or maybe leaving a home, refinancing a home. Yeah, that's what it is. Something took place in the home. OK, somebody received some uh, sad news. There could have been an altercation or maybe some form of enforcement that came about. All right. Why is the sun card here? 999 could be significant. So this cycle was complete a long time ago. Maybe you realized something about this person or this situation. Okay. Um, we have the laws of attraction. We're talking about as above, so below, as within, so without. So this is what somebody is not... It's like they're refusing to see something, that they went through a, a transformation, or they don't want something to change. Mm. You may have uh, gotten some sort of uh, license here, a license to carry. Why is uh, the fire element here? Somebody may be seeing water beetles. I don't know why I got... Ooh. Okay. Somebody is connected to someone that is not pure, okay? Um, this is somebody that is not original. Maybe they take other people's ideas. Uh, and this is someone that you may be currently sleeping with or they want to sleep with you. This is somebody that wants to put an attachment on you, okay? And you may be picking up on that and there may be some kind of confusion because see, look, we got the high priestess that's in the light and we got the high priestess that's in the dark. So that tells me both of these people uh, use like gifts or something. Okay. 
and you're needing to use your intuition. Why is the high priestess in the shadow here? <clears throat> if you look, there's a veil uh, of illusion. This high priestess type of energy is not going to have you confused. Okay, but this one, as soon as you get in this person's energy, or you even connect with this person, it's something about somebody's tone or pitch that's off. Maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe you're into music um, and you pick up like on something when this person is around. It just makes you, it, it's unsettling is what I'm getting. Why is the high priestess here? Oh, somebody may have a heart murmur. Somebody likes to, <laughs> likes to drive fast. Is this person a fast lane champ? I'm trying to figure it out. But if it's the case here, somebody is going in the wrong direction. Okay. Or maybe you, uh, somebody wants to go back. Okay. Um, I feel like you're avoiding operating out of your heart space. And if so, somebody may have paid for someone to um, like block off your intuition or, or bind your heart some kind of way. Why is, that's right, that's, uh, so this is something that's hidden. This person may be a covert narcissist. This is someone that acts as if they are uh, better than others because of what they believe in, okay? This is somebody that's a dictator. They want to dictate somebody else's principles, values, and morals, okay? You may be seeing that. Like hearing something, seeing something first for the first time, you may have been denying this truth. What? Why is this here? Fifty and still sexy. <laughs> or you want some sort of freedom here? And something may be lifted by the time you turn fifty, or you know, um, you could have been in a relationship with this person, and things could have ended when you turned fifty. But we're talking about a major milestone that was complete. OK, this person is not astronomical. <laughs> this is like a, a meeting by chance here. OK, this person may be trying to connect with you telepathically. All right. And so it's kind of like maybe I don't know, maybe you got catfish by this person because <laughs> we got out. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was uh, presenting an illusion. Oh, this was you. Why is a chariot here? We got a lot of, oh, yeah. So a light a light was shined on this situation. You started using your six senses or you're in the process of using that, okay? There was like a lot of tension surrounding you and this person, okay? And as soon as you feel in, like intense emotions, that's when this person comes in because this individual put a spiritual cord around you. The morning star could be significant or the morning after. This is about your creativity. Somebody wanted to knock you off your throne or they wanted to knock this person off their throne. You could be a writer with that thought energy that is significant. Why is intuition here? Somebody is nervous watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got uh, this divine feminine energy here. Okay, this is someone that is this high priestess energy, no doubt about it. This is somebody that is wise. They are intuitive. This is somebody that's vibrant. When you're around this person, things flourish, they grow. Okay, you may be picking up on that. Okay, this is also the individual that you are connecting with, uh, possibly when you're watching this reading. Okay, this may be somebody's safe way, safe way, safe, whoop, safe place. <laughs> Oh, somebody got upset, boy, when I said that. Why is the main character here? You want a new beginning, but you don't know how to approach this situation. Uh, you need to take your power back. You may be a writer. You may need to put it in a song. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you spoke something loud and clear here. You said, look, I don't want to deal with you. You are not my person. And you ended something, okay? And this person was in denial. Yeah. 
They wanted you to do something that you weren't comfortable with. Or you're trying to get someone to, mm -hmm, to do something that they're not comfortable with. Okay? You may be remember, remember like, so somebody's like, you may be remembering something from the past. Okay? It's like a subconscious thing. Okay? When you connect with this person here, you need to trust your intuition. Um, if somebody's trying to, you know, do that whole, what is that, in, in, in men in black thing where they try to erase your memory, that's what's happening here. Somebody could be jumping timelines or, uh, yeah. Why is the sound card here? Yeah, it's like you're moving away um, from peace, from love. And this is what somebody wants you to do. They want you to feel misguided. For some of you, this could be like a parent figure, somebody that's pretending to be a parent. This person may have like mm, their voice, There's something about this person that makes you feel like this is like a, a, a mother or something. Why is the sun card here? 13 could be significant. 13 days, 13 hours, 13 months. This could be something that took place last year or may, you know, this may play out through the next year. For some of you, you need to uh, watch that year in review reading that's on my main, my main page. I believe it's like one of the videos that's featured. Somebody lies by omission. Okay. And you see this person with rose colored glasses on. You may be realizing that. Your vision is distorted when you're around this person, okay? Or when you talk to this person, okay? This person is dishonest. They wear a mask. Where is, why is dishonesty here? Mm-hmm. So either they was trying to put a spirit on you or a spirit is on somebody. Oh, yeah. They didn't want this individual to shine a light on something, on something that they did that was dishonorable. Okay. They may be seeing this person as courageous or you do. Oh yeah. But you also know that this is not an abundant relationship. Oshu, Oshu. Osiris could be significant as well. So this is something that took place in the past. Okay. And this is why you need to get focused here. Um, I feel like when doubt starts to creep in, you need to shift your energy to more something like something that is uh, more powerful. If it's like daytime, you may need to go out in the sun. OK, or maybe when you went in the sun, you realize something. Oranges could be significant. Cherries as well. Somebody's dealing with an ugly mugly and an ugly cookie. Why is the high priestess here? Yeah, this is somebody. Yeah, you don't feel that's not your person. Yeah, I feel like you know that. And you may be closing a chapter with this person. Um, yeah, you may also be realizing that you failed to care for this person. So they moved forward. And this was a test. And now currently, whenever you see this, right, because energy is fluent, there is no time in the spiritual realm or the spirit realm. It's only divine timing. Somebody did something too much. You may have avoided this person and now you want to go back. Somebody may be trying to go back to a different dimension. A dimension in the mind or dimension in time. Why is that transformation here? Yeah, something is closed. This is a business deal. That is closed or it needs to close. You may not have profited from this. Somebody didn't want you to profit from this business deal. There was some sort of collaboration that you're supposed to have with this divine feminine. Divine feminine, there's some sort of co collaboration that you're supposed to have with somebody, but they're stuck in the past or stuck in a past cycle. So you're being guided to move forward. Yeah, because you're not in alignment. Mercury retrograde. Yeah. Somebody may see you as mysterious. Okay, this person is refusing to take the lead. It's something about electromagnetic energy. 
that's throwing this person off. Okay. Oh, they may be in they may be being hunted by a memory or something that took place in the past. So they're needing to remember a past life lesson or a lesson that they passed. Okay, possibly when they jump timeline. Mercury retrograde, why is this here? Wow, too many. Mm-hmm. We're talking about past, a past cycle, okay? And so somebody's mentally manipulative, okay? Um, somebody may, may wear a helmet or they need to wear a helmet when they're riding their bike. Mercury retrograde. Somebody got into an accident. Uh, maybe even had a head injury. Ooh. So you're being placed on a timeout here, right? And you're being placed on a timeout uh, because you are this person's judge. Now, you may not feel like you are, okay? But this is somebody that you have some past life karma with. And what's taking place is you're ascending. So, you know, you know, for some of you, Kairos could be significant. Okay. Living room, why is this here? 88, let go. 88 is significant. Somebody needs to let go of something. Somebody's trying to avoid this tower, uh, avoid this foundation from uh, falling apart. But this is something that is, is the divine is tearing down. This has nothing to do with some outside influence or outside force, okay? <laughs> and so somebody is rebellious when it comes down to the God here. They don't want to take instructions. The God may have said to this person, look, this is not your person, okay? But somebody came and told some sort of falsehood. You may be seeing it. Yeah. You're being guided to operate out of your heart space. And uh, for you know, for somebody, that's definitely what you're going to do. Okay? Something is being transmuted, uh, transmuted or transformed. And somebody feels ignored and somebody feels guilty. Deuces. So you see something clearly possibly about a business endeavor. This could be somebody younger than you that you are working with or somebody that wants to work with you. We got that Leo energy. Either show me what it is I need to see. Too many cars. We're going to take that one. <laughs> the chariot. So 